Panda. Beep, 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 beep. How are the kids? Uh, wonderful. Hello, guys. Um, welcome to this Dead Island and Definitive Edition review. Um, it's Dead Island. I guess you could say it's for both. But um, today I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of this, and not just only that. Just talk about what I thought about this game, like my thoughts and feelings. So let's start off with um with the um things that I liked about it. So pros, the game looks better. Obviously, because that's what a definitive edition should do, right? It should improve graphics and improve stability of the game. Well. If you guys have been fans of the series, or you have played Dead Island before, and you didn't know whether you liked it or not because of how choppy it kind of was, well, you're in luck. This game, when it comes to the Definitive Edition, if you own both of these games on PC, um, I don't know what they do for Xbox and PlayStation, but I think what they do, I think... It's just 60 bucks for both, or whatever. I don't remember what they do, but or how much they're going to make it. But if you already own the original games, you could get Dead Island Definitive for $3 separately. And then you could also get Riptide Definitive Edition for $3 as well. But there is a collection that you can get that also comes with um, the Retro Rampage or whatever which no one has been able to play yet unless you get it early but um it's basically I don't know what it is because I haven't really played it but it's not it says it's gonna come out soon so whenever it does come out that'd be cool but yeah as you guys can see in this clip what the driving does not feel laggy does not Make you think that your internet connection is is suckish, because really it's not. It's just a game. But yeah, I don't know if TechLane actually remastered this or whoever did. But whoever did it, someone needs to hire them for like next gen games, guys, because this game looks amazing. And I looked on discussions, and if you guys were wondering um, about the fact of can you transfer your characters well I have some sad news you the thing is I think you had to play Dead Island the definitive edition to get it to where it'll import that character to Riptide definitive edition so you won't so if you've already used, had an older character I think you could do it, but the thing is, you'd have a high-level character with no weapons, from what I've heard. So don't take my word for it, but I think that's what's happened. But yeah, this this clip right here, I should have said this earlier, this is from Dead Owl and Riptide. So if you guys are wondering about that, there you go. But from what I've seen, from what the gameplay you've seen, I feel like this game was like Dead on Riptide kind of, uh, not Dead on Riptide, Dead on 2 kind of feel to it. Because of two things. One, the game looks better. And two, um, it just feels like a next gen game. Like Dead on 2, which. To be honest, I don't know where what happened to that game, but hopefully they um, do something. But anyways, um, back to the review. Um, the cons, or actually, I'll keep going to the pros. The pros, the detail that they do for um, the characters, like the zombies, is outstanding. Like, if you pay, look and pay attention to how good the people look and how their facial expressions are, are is amazing. I know they're zombies, but for the love of God, if you look in this video right here, look how insane their faces look. Like, 
and also the fact that this game does not is not super choppy. I feel like you guys might as well try and play Dead Island again. I know people will probably be like, oh, well, I like my character I had. Well, I don't know what to tell you. If you want to be stubborn, go for it. I don't care. Just do what you want to do. Anyways, um, I feel like also a good thing about this game is they did a lot of visual things with it. Like, not only did they improve the shaders in this game, they improved the quality of the game, they improved the stability, which I've said many times, but you gotta take my word for it, it's amazing. And this flare gun right here, I never saw how good that looked, and I never saw how good the flare, the nail gun looked, because in the console versions, it looked okay. Like, most of the stuff looked decent. But now, when you look at it now, the graphics are amazing, for, compared from 2011 to now. The first, the first Dead Island game came out in 2011, and I think Riptide came out like a couple of years after that, and they both looked pretty decent, but now when you look at the Definitive Edition, you're probably thinking, holy crap, this game either looks really good, or holy crap, I need to buy it and see how good it looks for myself. Because obviously YouTube is probably not going to make this game look that visually appealing, I feel like once you look at it yourself, you will see how amazing the game really looks compared to what you think it looks like on YouTube. Because obviously, the quality I'm showing you guys is probably not what you guys um, are seeing like it is on when I play it. But um, yeah, this game is very optimized. Another pro is, um, it literally is just outstanding how it runs. It runs so good that I can literally record this at 60 frames, which is what you guys are seeing at right now. And it looks outstanding and plays outstanding at the same time. That's what I like about games, is if you have a visual appealing game that runs good, you're going to get a lot of people that want to play it. Cause of how, um, sorry, I'm tired. Uh, uh, to see how good it looks and run, have it run well. So if you have a uh, um, hardware that's kind of three years old, I think you'd you'd be able to play this. But I would, if I, I would recommend that you would have a GTX card or a Nvidia or AMD card that has three gigabytes of VRAM. When I looked at the specs, since this is on PC, when I looked at my Afterburner, the VRAM was at 1.5 gigs of VRAM, which if you guys don't know what VRAM is, it's video RAM, it's how much um, you could like push on the card, like how much, how, if you could put it up to high settings or whatnot, anyways. I feel like it's a very, it performs well, and it doesn't heat up your graphics card as much. It all, it barely even got to 60 on my card, and I have a GTX 970 G1 gaming card, if you guys are wondering. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing, like, and it runs amazing. My CPU barely got hot at all, 58 degrees, just like my other card, 58 degrees Celsius, which is like probably 100 something degrees in Fahrenheit, I don't know what, but, um, yeah, this game is very visual appealing, and now to the cons, I know I've been talking a lot about pros, but there's only a few cons I could probably say about this game that makes me think, well, this game is kind of meh for these reasons. Okay, so reason number one. The, um, sometimes, like, there could be some sound glitches in the game, which are probably just early bugs for a Definitive Edition, which is good. Because it's surely better than what they had for the first Dead Island in, the s in Riptide. Because if, if you guys don't remember on PC, the people that stood around for Dead Island, um, there was a thing where if you took alcohol, like if you picked it up, you would have it in your inventory and it would just be sitting there. In this game, 
not only do you pick it up, it goes into your inventory, it doesn't go into your quick select, your weapons wheel, whatever it is. And also, the zombies don't glitch out a lot to the point where the game's like stupidly, like, un. Well, I wouldn't say unplayable, but it's like stupidly choppy. And the physics system is way better in this game. But, um, yeah, and then another bad thing is probably just that there's some glitches, but other than that, I feel like this game is probably the most polished PC game I had played in 2016, <laughs> until I f play another one, but I feel like this is the most polished game I've ever played. I've had no issues running this. The only issue I had was save states, but to be honest, who cares? It's fun to play a new Dead Island every once in a while, but good lord, this game runs stupid smooth. You'd probably not have any problem running this game, to be honest, at the awesome resolution it is at. And another thing, this game does not have high settings. Oh, not high settings. Ultra settings. It's all high settings, and it's pretty good. The, and then another thing is FOVs. Not even, there's not even a limit for it, so you probably have to like go in the settings or whatever. But, um, yeah, other than that, I think the game ran, runs pretty well. I had no problems with it. Um, but other than that, let's wrap this up. This is kind of a long video, but, um, if I had to rate this game, since the pros were a lot better, and I played, I literally beat Dead Island the other day with my friend, uh, RBA12, or Bramman, as you guys know him as, which I was playing this game with them, so, um, I would rate this, I'd probably rate this, um, game a 9.8 out of 10 for the definitive edition, just because of how polished the game is compared to what it was, like, a few years ago, like, it's visually appealing, and also, stabi it's also stably appealing, and the fact that the little things in this game make the game right feel right like whenever you focus in on a zombie it focuses out of the environment sometimes like that i focus into a thug and it does that just little details just make a game great and i know that might sound make me sound like a freaking pc nerd saying oh no the graphics are too are gross well i've played some bad games <laughs> So, if you want to give me crap in the comments, give me crap in the comments. I don't care. It's what your opinions are. But, um, other than that, I would say that this game gets a 9.8 out of 10. Because there wasn't very many bad things about this game. I feel like if you guys are long-term, or have been long-term fans of Dead Island, the Dead Island series itself... Um, I would, I would, it's worth it for the 10 extra bucks you spend for the collection bundle on Steam, if you already owned it. I mean, I don't know what if it ha what would happen if you bought it, bought the original games and then got the definitive edition, but I feel like it's worth it to get the definitive editions of the game. But the thing is, if you want to play with your old saves, if you've had it, I would just play the older older games because you can't even like I even tried um getting the save state for um the my dead island like for the def the first game definitive to do it and it wouldn't even have an option to do it but it only did it for the riptide thing so I think what they did was they were trying to get people to play the first dead island definitive and replay it and then have them do it like that but I think it's which was kind of dumb but I would rather have same level weapons with the same level that are decent than being a high level and then having really crappy weapons let me know in the comments what you think of my thoughts and opinions on the definitive edition of Dead Island down below and also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed me talk about the good things and bad things review of Dead Island Definitive Edition. I know there's many people out there who have done reviews, but I feel like 
if you guys were wondering about all the stuff about save states and stuff, well, you're kind of out of luck, but whatever. The beauty of the game and the smoothness of the game pretty much beats the fact that you want a save state. Anyways, this has been CMOT64 Production, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Read, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>